first at five, the latest on the coronavirus outbreak. There are now four confirmed cases here in Illinois. The third and fourth are a married couple in their 70s, both being treated in isolation tonight. Governor J.B. Pritzker announced that the state of Illinois will begin voluntary testing at select hospitals to gather statistics about the coronavirus. Two new testing labs will be added beyond Cook County in Springfield and Carbondale. And the De Illinois Department of Insurance will be monitoring for any price gouging or unfair coverage practices. We're increasing staffing at our Office of Consumer Health Insurance toll-free line to ensure that Illinoisans know their rights, whether fully insured, uninsured, or underinsured. And that hotline can also help individuals determine their insurance coverage. One of the state's confirmed cases is being treated at Northwest Community Hospital in Arlington Heights. Administrators there say they are working with the CDC. All staff that came in contact with the man are being monitored and tested. These latest cases have already having an effect on one suburban school district. NBC 5's Lisa Chavarria joins us from Arlington Heights with that part of the story. Lisa? Robin Allison, this is a bit to follow, but two staff members told the school district that their babysitter had told them that they had a family member who had contact with a patient who has the coronavirus. That's why the superintendent wanted to make sure that she told the parents just to be extra cautious. Community spread or person to person transfer. It's been a concern with the coronavirus. That's why the Arlington Heights District 25 superintendent shared an email with parents to be proactive. She told them a babysitter contacted two staff members and their children. She wrote the sitter's family member, a hospital employee, was exposed to a patient diagnosed with coronavirus. The children and staffers attend or work in several elementary schools on the list Dryden Ivy Hill Greenbrier and Olive Mary Stitt I really appreciate them getting ahead of the game um, because you can never be too careful but it's also like okay thank you but not really that concerned about it yet the superintendent emphasized to parents and other staff that none of the people affected have any symptoms right now she said that they have all been in contact with their doctors and are staying home monitoring their symptoms parents picking up their children from one of the schools named are grateful for the transparency I want to hear about what's going on and I want to know and I appreciate that but I think that some people might be freaking out a little bit more than they need to with it and that's what they're trying to stop is people from panicking about the situation. The people that are involved in this are staying at home, although the district did not say for how long. But what the district is telling parents is to make sure that they encourage their kids to wash their hands often. And if their kids are sick, to keep them home. Reporting live in Arlington Heights, Lisa Chavaria, NBC5 News.